In this video, I'm going to show you a variety of ways that you can change from one image to another. So what I have here is a web page that looks like it has three images on it. But when we look at it more closely, if we go into the HTML file, we see that there's actually six images. What I've done is I've put them in the same, I've positioned them in the same place so they cover each other up. So here uh, we have tears, which is covering up fearful. They're both exactly the same size and they're in the same location. So you only see one because they're one right on top of the other. And I've done that with sunglasses and wink. They're both over here in the same location. And then with sad and angel, which is right here. And we're going to use some CSS to change from one image to another what's visible. So I'm going to start by changing the opacity property. So with animations, we can change a variety of properties. So we've done a lot of work changing the transform property, but that's only one of many that can be uh, changed with animations. And if you look at the resources on W3 schools on their CSS resources, it tells you which properties are you can use with animation and and so it has a list that you can choose and, and know which properties you can actually do. All right, so I'm going to create uh, a keyframe. And I'm going to call this one um, Fade. And what I'm going to do is change the opacity. So when, oops, so when I start, I, I want the opacity to be 1. And I'm going to do this up here on the tiers, which is the one that's visible, right? And it's all the opacity has a value from zero to one. And zero means it's completely opaque. You can see all the way through it. And one is where it's all the way solid and you don't see through it at all. And we want the tiers to sta start there. So here I'm going to put an animation that calls this fade. Um, keyframes. And I want this animation to last 10 seconds. So, and I'm going to start it with opacity 1, and I'm going to end it um, back with, well, we'll play with it for a little while. I'll, I'll go ahead, let's go ahead and make it opacity, back to opacity 1 again by the end. Okay. So, what I'm going to do then, now notice this didn't make any change. So we're calling fade, it starts with opacity 1, it transitions clear to opacity 1. So now I want to go ahead and make some changes. So at 15%, I'm going to change opacity to, um, well, let's change it. If if I change it to 0, I don't want it to do that. I want, I want it to start changing at 15%. So I don't want it to start changing opacity at 0. I want it to start changing at 15%. So I have to go to 15% and set it at 1. And this helps, this makes it stay at 1. From 0 to 1, opacity will stay at, from 0 to 15%, opacity will stay at 1. And now I want it to transition so that at 30%, then the opacity is all the way at 0. All right, so here we see the transition. This is where I define it. I define it happening from 15% to 30%. And let's go ahead and change this to 0 right now. And that will hold it. So once at 30%, it gets all the way opacity to 0. It will hold it clear to 100%. So let's save that and go back here and refresh and see what happens in 10 seconds. Okay, so you see, saw from 15% to 30% that opacity went from 1 to 0. And so, um, so you saw that it was a fade, right? Because that opacity changed over time. And then notice that it came back. So at the end, after the after the animation is over, it comes back to its default value where it was at opacity, so whatever it was. So we see that it starts out like this at 15%, it starts to fade, and the fearful shows, and then as soon as the animation is over, it comes back. So let's go ahead and make it so that it comes back in a faded way as well. So we'll fade back. Um, use that opacity zero. So again, I want it to fade back and I want that fade back to start at 70%. So I'm going to 
make sure the opacity, I want it to start here, so I'm going to define that I want it to stay at zero, clear up to 70%, and then I want it to transition uh, from 85% at, so I want to make that transition back to one right there at between 70 and 85%. It'll make this transition from zero to one, and then I want it to stay at one, so I'm going to end it there at one. So here we make a transition from one to zero, where it starts visible and becomes invisible, stays invisible till 70%, and then transitions back at 85%. So I'm going to save that, and we'll come back here and refresh it. And there it goes. Transitions to fearful, comes back, and transitions back to tears. And then it stays there. Now we could have it do this three times, right? And then it would just keep doing it. But what you're doing is you're defining that it's fading because you're changing the opacity over time. If you want it to fade slower, then you would put those percentages further apart. If you want it to fade faster, you'd put those percentages close together. Or the other way that you could change the length of them is to change the actual length of the animation. All right, so that's one property that we can change, with, which is opacity, and that allows you to transition from one image to another. Another one that we can change is visibility. So let's try that with the wink. And so on wink, I'm going to get, I'm going to um, do another keyframes. And on this one, I'm going to just change visibility. And so at 0%, uh, visibility, I'm just going to set it to visible which it is by default. Notice I haven't defined wink at all, but by default it's already visible, but I'm going to go ahead and define that so I really see it. And that at 15%, um, I'm going to change it. And I'm going to change visibility to hidden. So I'm going to give it that hidden value. And then I want it to stay hidden, so I'm going to go all the way to 100% and make sure that that visibility stays hidden till the very end of the animation. Okay. All right, then let's go up here and set the animation property up here in Wink. So the animation I want it to call, oh, I've got to give it a name, right? And I'm going to give it uh, this name, I'm going to call it Replace. So I'm going to call the animation Replace, and I want this one, let's go ahead and make this one last 20 seconds and see what happens. So, uh, okay, so well, let's play it. So here we are over here on the wink, and oh, there it replaced. Now notice how this happens all of a sudden, right? The, it's either on or off, so you just see it happen. And then it stays for 100%, and uh, when it finishes the animation in 20 seconds, it'll go back to its original value, which is with wink displaying. So, so so this is more of a sudden change. Visibility is a sudden change. If you want to fade, you have to use opacity. But if you just simply want to change it from one image to another, hidden works really good. And again, you could go back and change it uh, back to visible if you wanted. So let's go ahead and say at 85%, we want to change visibility to visible. Oh, this is interesting. Let me show you what happens here and then we want it to stay visible. So we just want to hide it at 15%. So let's try that. So watch, 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 watch. All right, you never see it happen. This is a serious disappointment. So what happens is this is instantaneous and it goes right back. So we need to give it some time that we want it to stay hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, clear up until 84%. I want it to stay hidden, and otherwise it'll just go back. And so, um, you've got to have it. You have to have it stay there for a while. Okay, here we go. Now it goes hidden. All right, so the visibility is hidden, and it will stay clear till 84%. It'll stay hidden, and then when it hits 85%, it'll go visible again. So this one, you need to give it some time that to make sure it stays hidden, or you won't see it. All right, that's the second way is to use the property visible or visibility. Uh, now a third way doesn't even use animation. So this one, uh, I'm going to work down here with the uh, sad, 
so the sad is on top and I'm going to make some changes to sad and I'm going to do this with the transition property all right and in transition I define what property I'm going to change so I'm going to change opacity I'm going to say allow the transition to have whenever what this is saying is whenever the opacity property goes through a transition then do it this way have the transition take three seconds Okay, and what that says is that allows you to change it, but it changes it over time. This is a fun way to, uh, well, we'll change a variety of things, and you can see that as we change it, it changes over time. And it just defines that transition. Now we have to define a time when opacity changes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change it when on hover. So I'm going to do sad, so the, uh, where id equals sad on hover right and I'm going to say on hover I want opacity to be set to zero so whenever you hover it goes to zero so if I go over here and I refresh and now when I hover it goes to zero but notice how it goes to three seconds let me show you that again let me take this out and save so if I just set hover to opacity zero watch what happens when I hover it goes immediate opacity goes direct to zero what the transition property does is it allows you to define a time frame that it goes over and there are some other properties that you can define as well but it allows you to to say make this transition over time so now when I do it when I do hover when I come over it takes three seconds to make that transition all right, now I can change other properties up here in transition I can say okay not only opacity but go ahead and change width and do this one over three seconds right or let's do this one a little bit faster so let's do to transition the width over tr over two seconds now notice I don't have anything that changes width so it will never happen because it never changes when it changes it'll follow that transition pattern but it has to actually happen so let's go ahead and say in here I want the width to change so as it's getting more opaque I want it to get smaller so I'm going to so I'm going to change that width down to 120 pixels all right so it's going to go from 180 to 120 and now if I hover over it see it transitioning getting smaller and now notice when I get back it's transitioning back so it transitions both ways when I hover it's going to go to opacity 0 and width 20. When I unhover, it's going to go back to width 180 and opacity 1. Now, notice how, it's, how it's, it gets smaller. It's filling up less space. I want to kind of center it. So a way that I can do that to keep that in center is to change the margin. So I'm going to change the margin property to keep it centered. And I want this to happen over the same time as the width. And and so it's we're changing it by 60 pixels so I want to change the margin by 30 pixels half of it so that it kind of keeps it centered so I'm going to do margin and I'm going to change it on all sides to 30 pixels so now I save that and I refresh now when I hover see how it goes small and it's kind of staying in the center when I unhover it comes back and that's what transition does it allows you to change that over time those properties over time and notice there's no animation property needed here so three different ways that you can change images